Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. A special hello to any first time visitors to my channel. I hope this is the first of many visits to come. In fact, let's take a moment and have you hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. So for today's video, I am going to provide a review of the MZ Wallace Small Sutton Bag. My game plan for this video is to provide you with all the basic information about this bag, including dimensions, price, color availabilities. And then what I'm going to do is show you how I pack it on a typical weekend when I'm running around doing a number of errands, and then show you some mod shots of the bag on me with those items in it. Then what I'll do is pack it a little heavier since I do pack a bit light on the weekend and show you mod shots of the bag with all those extra contents in it. Then at the end, I'm going to come back and sit down and let you know my thoughts on the bag. So without further ado, let's get started. So here is the MZ Wallace Small Sutton Bag. This particular style bag comes in four different sizes. The Micro Sutton, which is smaller than this one, the small that you see right here, a medium, and a large. All these bags are actually part of the MZ Wallace Metro Collection, which is distinguished by this quilted nylon fabric and leather trim that you see on the handles here the bottom, and then on the inside. This particular bag, make sure we got that in the camera for you, measures 9.8 inches across, 5.5 inches wide, 10.2 inches tall, and has a 3.9 inch handle drop right there. There is also a cross body strap that you can attach by removing the clasp here and then linking it to that strap. And that will vary from 26.4 inches to 45.3 inches, just depending on how long you want that strap to be. According to the site, this weighs one pound and it retails for $225 and is currently available on their website in 19 different colors. You can get prints like this camo here. They have a graffiti print right now that is available. They also have solid colors and then they have color block, which is two different colors. It'll be cut right down across this way and one side or the bottom side will have one color and then the top will have another. So there's a lot of different options out there. I'm sure out of 19, there would be one that would suit your style. I will make sure to put links down below for the entire Metro collection on MZ Wallace's site, as well as a link specifically to this sized bag so that you can refer to that and purchase if you so wanted. I'm not affiliated or sponsored with MZ Wallace at all. I'm just sharing my thoughts on this particular bag with you. So let me show you, I'll give you a quick tour of the bag. Let me unzip it and take out all the goodies in here. So you saw it from the outside, it's very simple. No pockets, no exterior pockets, nothing like that. You've got the brand name right there in gold. It can be gold or silver depending on the particular color that you end up choosing. So here is one of the zipper pulls. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but you can see it says MZW for their name. And uh, show you the clasp right there. And this is the clasp that you would remove so that you can attach your crossbody strap to it so that you want to wear it crossbody. The bottom down here, it's got four feet. And as you can see, it's got that little diamond there with the MZ Wallace New York. And then I showed you earlier that there are these straps here. Now, when you buy it at first, the leather here is far lighter. It has patinaed over time because I do use this bag quite a lot. So it'll turn more honey and, and, and a really nice complimentary color, in my opinion, to, to this color overall. So the inside, see here's the crossbody strap and I'll show you that later. The inside has, a, I believe they say a total of six interior pockets. So it's, it's got a lot of great organization. You've got this one pocket here that you can use for business cards or a commuter transit card. You've got the name again right in there. There we go. And then you can unzip this. And you, it's a really deep pocket. It goes a good length down. And then inside this pocket, there are two more pockets. You've got one right here and I'm missing it. And one right here. So they're right next to each other and they are, in my opinion, I think they're the exact same size. So you've got a pocket, goes all the way down, and then you've got two more pockets in the pocket. Let me 
zip that closed. On this side, you've got the traditional cell phone pocket that fits no one's cell phone anymore. Um, and then you've got a flatter pocket right there. And then you've got this key ring strap that is on the inside, which is attached to this pouch that you can use however you wish. And actually the great thing about this bag is that it is advertised to fold into this pouch for a compact travel portability. It's really excellent and I will show you how it can fit. It is such a soft, smushy fabric that it's doable. It's great. So now after I've showed you all the fun details of the bag on the inside as well as the outside, I will start to pack it up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the MZ Wallace small Sutton bag. It's still completely empty. I haven't loaded anything in it yet. And actually before I do anything like that, what I'm going to do is unhook these clasps here on the side and add the crossbody strap because that is how I carry it all the time. Here is the strap as you see. Very simple, obviously. Just grab this clasp over here. Boom, one side done. That's it. Now you've got a crossbody bag and I have it linked here on the sides all the time. This is the way I prefer to carry my bags is with a crossbody. I would never really just carry it like this and not have the crossbody strap attached. So it is always there on there for me. I will sometimes take it, you know, if I'm running out of my car real quick and grab it from here and just go. But this is always, the strap is always attached for me as an option because I do rely on it heavily. So let's get this bag open and I'll show you how I load it for a typical weekend. It is still empty, like I said. The little pouch here that you can fold it into, I just let it fall to the bottom. I don't remove it or not carry it with me because you know, it takes up almost no space. So might as well have it just in case you need it. So on any given weekend when I'm running errands, my handy full-size Kate Spade lacy wallet will go with me wherever I go. And I did make a video about this about a week or two ago, so I will link that down below in case you are interested in this wallet. Pop it right in there. Next thing I don't leave home without is this MZ Wallace pouch. It was actually a limited edition Mother's Day release. I can't remember exactly which year. I for some reason, 2015 sounds right to me. I could be wrong, so don't hold me to that. And it's a, a nice sized pouch that I have to go everywhere with because it has all my teeth related things, floss, toothbrush, toothpaste. I'm currently doing Invisalign treatment, so I can't leave home without this. Put that in there. And then I'll also take a pair of sunglasses if and when needed. Obviously, if it's cloudy or there's no sun to be seen, I won't take that with me anywhere, but Usually it is with me. And then you've got some, you know, lotion here and some lip care. And typically I put these over in this pocket here. The one that I said is usually for cell phones that more than likely doesn't fit most people's cell phones. I end up using that as like my lip compartment carrier. So that is typically all I'll put in there. And obviously once I'm done with my Invisalign treatment, I won't even have that pouch in there. It'll be even less, but as you can see, there's still plenty of room to add things. But for now, showing you what I typically carry at the moment, and that's it. It's still, it zips no problem. You can see there's plenty of room. And now what I'm going to do is show you some mod shots of this on me. And for reference, I am five foot six, but since this strap is adjustable and has quite a variation in length, it should accommodate people of all heights. So show you what it looks like on me. Okay, so here is the small Sutton on me. Like I said, I am five foot six and I have it adjusted to the length that I personally prefer, which is just about hip length, maybe a little bit longer right now because of the colder weather and having those bigger, bulkier coats on, just kind of accommodating for all that. It sits very nicely, molds to the body because of that smushy fabric. It just kind of sits very well. And the shoulder, no, problem at all. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't feel like it's yanking me down. It's very, very comfortable. It's like I said, it's just got those four items in there that I showed you the wallet, the sunglasses, the pouch, and my lip care products. And most of the time I do have it on like this crossbody. Sometimes, like I said, I'll jump out of my car and just throw it on my shoulder like so. And obviously 
there is so much length to play with. You can make it even shorter, but I personally just leave it at this length because it is my crossbody length and I don't want to constantly keep shortening and lengthening and shortening and lengthening. So I just leave it like this because eventually it is going to end up crossbody on me again. So I just leave it like that. And like I said, sometimes if I'm in a just an even bigger rush, I'll just put the shoulder strap like that in between the top handle and then just run in like that. And nine times out of 10, while I'm walking in to wherever I'm headed, I'll just do this and grab it, put it on my shoulder or even take it a step further and toss it as a crossbody. And so there it is. Now I will load it up with some more items and show you how much it can accommodate. And then I'll provide you mod shots of the bag with all those extra items in it. Okay, so here's the bag still has all the items that I initially showed you in it. And what we're going to do now is load it up with some more items so I can give you a better idea of its capacity. If you're the type of person that likes to carry a notebook or an agenda, I brought one here to show you. It's not huge, but it's also not teeny tiny. It'll fit in there, not a problem. Got this pouch here with some personal items like medicine, a small uh, portable brush, some oil blotting wipes. That can go in here, not a problem either got to kind of Tetris it out a little bit just to arrange it a little bit better so that you can maximize your space. Got this little Betty pouch from MZ Wallace. It has loyalty cards in here, coupons, things like that. Put that in there. Boom. No problem. Grabbed another pouch just to kind of show you the capacity potential of this bag. Whatever you want, if you, if you even need it. Going in there. And then here are some headphones. Some smaller headphones, obviously, go in here. All those items, plus what was initially in there, closes no problem at all. It's not straining. It's a little heavier, obviously, uh, but it's not straining in any way. You haven't, you know, given the zipper a run for its money. It, it opens and closes easily. See? Not a problem. So now what I will do is show you how this looks like on me with all these extra items in it. Okay, so here is the small Sutton with all the items in it that I just added, all those pouches, the agenda, the headphones, plus my wallet, sunglasses, lip products, all that is in there. Obviously it is a lot bulkier than when it, I showed it to you initially, but it can hold everything, no problem. Obviously this is personal opinion, but for me, the shoulder strap is still not bothering me personally. It might bother you. I don't know what your limitations are, or what your preferences are as far as weight goes in a bag and when it comes to crossbody. But for me, it's okay. If I needed to carry all these items, I could do it. Um, the fact that this bag on its own doesn't weigh very much to begin with obviously helps that cause. So it looks a little bit bulkier than than the first video of the mod shot, but it, it holds everything. And even now with it on my shoulder, you almost feel like there is more room. So like if you had to squeeze in a water bottle, for example, if you're traveling and want some water on you, you could probably do it. It's gonna, again, you gotta factor in weight, bulkiness, if that is a problem or a factor for you, just be mindful of the fact that it will get heavier, it will look bulkier. But if you need everything that I just pictured, and showed you when I was loading it up for the second time, it, it fits it no problem. It just, it bulked it out a bit, but other than that, it works. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show you is how you can fold this bag into the pouch that it comes with. So I emptied it all out and threw the crossbody strap right down there in the middle. And there's really no right or wrong way to do this. This is just kind of how I do it. I flatten it up like this. And then here is the pouch, just so you know, it's out here waiting. I just kind of fold these sides in like so, and then just fold it in half. And then just shimmy it into this pouch. Just like that. Two seconds. You've got that bag that can hold everything in the kitchen sink, all in this little pouch. It really is a nice little perk to the bag. If you want to travel with it, or if you decide you want to store it this way for 
space saving purposes. I personally don't, I just kind of leave it unfolded and in my closet. But if you want it to store it this way, you can do that. And like I said, for travel, when you're trying to, to pack light and compact, this is really, really an excellent feature that comes with this, this bag and this, and I think most of this collection, if I'm not mistaken, all can fold into its pouch. So yeah, really, really great. Okay, now that I've given you the 411 on the bag, shown you all that it can hold, as well as provided some mod shots, I wanted to take a couple minutes and let you know what I think about the bag. Does it come as any surprise to you that I love this thing? It is a great, great, great bag. I think everyone should have this bag in their closet. It is easy, it is effortless, it is a great grab and go option. You have the option to carry it from this top strap here. You can link up that crossbody strap I showed you where it crossbody, shorten it up, put it as a shoulder bag. It is super duper lightweight, only one pound. And then if you are traveling, you can fold it up into itself and put it in the pouch that comes with it and take it with you on your travels. I think that feature is worth its weight in gold. These days with all the limitations on size and weight when it comes to travel, having the option to take a bag that is so small yet can hold so much and then pack it into your luggage or carry on and have it take up virtually no space is amazing. I think that is, like I said, I think that's worth its weight in gold. I think the price is very fair for the bag. I think it's a great investment, a great purchase with 19 different color options currently available on their site. I have complete faith that everyone out there can find a color combination or print that works for them. I personally love this green camo and I actually have another print because I love this bag so much. So yes, I do have two of them and I hopefully won't have any more. It's very easy to want to buy all of them. It's, it's such a great easy bag. I, I love it. You know, it has all those pockets on the inside. So it, you know, even though it's such a big, bag when you open it there is the option to keep everything organized in there so it's really really it's a great bag if there was one thing i had to say like was a con or a flaw it's not even a flaw it's just the way they made it a con would be that it doesn't have an exterior pocket i wish it had like a little pocket maybe here just beneath the nameplate or one hidden in the back right here just somewhere where you can toss your cell phone and keys just so that they're super duper handy thankfully for me since I mostly carry this very light with just two or three items in there and my my lip care products. My phone and my keys, you know, don't really end up getting lost. I don't find myself shuffling around for them too much. So it, it's a non-issue really for me. Uh, but if and when you do end up carrying more in there, you might end up having to dig a little more. But again, there are so many pockets in here if you end up kind of creating your own routine and, and dedicating one of those pockets, maybe that zip pocket in the back, to putting your keys and your uh, phone in there, then then it would be a non-issue for you as well. But like I said, I mean, this is me, like if I'm trying to scrape for something to tell you, like, is there something wrong with this bag? Overall though, I would say no, it's a great bag. I think it's priced really fair. Um, it's a wonderful purchase. I think this, this collection is really great. Um, I, I really can't speak highly enough of it. And um, if I don't cut myself off right now, I'll probably talk about it forever. So I'm just going to end it with that. I think it's a great bag. I definitely think you should look into it. I will provide a link down below for not only their entire Metro collection, but I will provide a link that takes you directly to this particular sized Sutton so that you can kind of give it a look for yourself, see if it's something you like, see if it's something you want to invest in. So. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.